To me, um, grief comes in waves. It's some days it hits you really hard, and other days it's um, I can't say it's ever stayed off of me, but I can say that it's um, it's given me. It hasn't beat me up some days. Let's put it like that. So it, it, it comes in waves, and you know, the truth is I didn't know grief, really. I just felt like everything was beautiful and perfect until the last few years. And then when I lost Truett, or when we lost Truett, everything changed, and I met grief in the fiercest way. I met a guy in Austin, Texas, and he lost his son. And it was before I lost Truett. I actually was playing Austin, and he was a guy I'd never met that said I could come play his golf course with him. When I went and played with him, he told me he lost his son, and he told me all about a car accident. It was really interesting. He told me a few things that, that were like preparing me, kind of, and I'm not trying to overthink this thing. But, you know, he told me that when you go through something hard and you, you, you have to grab onto something you can trust. And his thing was grab, on, grab onto a promise of God. This he told me after, because he called me. He said, you're gonna want to grab onto a promise of God. And he goes, but just make sure you grab onto something God really promised us. Because when we're in the darkest valley, we might grab onto something that God never promised us at all. He said, make sure, you know, God, you might grab onto something like, I shouldn't be facing loss or God's good and he shouldn't, this shouldn't happen to me on earth. But he said, that's not promises of God. God didn't promise us we wouldn't face loss. He goes, God promised us that he would never leave us or forsake us. That's what he promised us. So God doesn't always take away the cold. He promises that he'll be right there in it with us. That's what I held on to. And I found him there, or he found me there. Um, I think there were, I started to learn to laugh even in the first week a little bit, but not laugh as deeply, you know. I don't know if I'll ever laugh as deeply. I don't know if I'll ever smile as big. Uh, but I can smile. And I can laugh. I don't know if it'll ever be until eternity, if it will ever be fully. Uh, I don't think I, I spoke about eternity before, but I, I never really like thought about it deeply, like deeply. Because I didn't need to. You know, I, I always trusted God. I always walk with God. It's not a question of that. But it was like that. To deeply think about it. Uh, but now I do because I imagine the ones I love that we've lost there. And I always, I always have the same kind of uh, picture. And it's, um, if I, I don't know if I can do this without crying, but it's. It's, um, Dad, if, if you could only see what I see right now. And it's not necessarily what heaven looks like. It's how this thing all works. Like, how, I don't know. I, I'm reluctant to say some things, but how leaving this earth early isn't necessarily a ripoff. Like, it's... No, you don't understand yet, Dad. You don't, you don't get it. You don't get it at all. That's what I see in here. You know, it's, as I said, people grieve differently. And I think, you know, we've, we've done a lot of things. We've, I think there's a lot of beauty in counseling. I think it's a wonderful 
thing. It's a gift if you can do it. I also think that community is, to me, the most important thing. I mean, to have lo loved ones surround you in your darkest moment um, and just love you, just be with you. And then even the distant, you know, the people that are a little more distant, the people that have listened to my music, the way I, the way I was prayed for, the way my family was prayed for, the way people loved us through social media posts. Um, we felt surrounded by love through, through the deepest, deepest, darkest, hardest thing we've ever experienced. And to me, that's, that's what the body of Christ should look like. So through what I've experienced and the grief I've experienced and the, what I've walked through, the raging storm, the deepest valley, I, I just feel like um, I didn't know God stayed close in those times, but I've learned that he does. I really have.